Hi, I'm Grace Stores. I'm the editor of Movement, part of the Move team, and we're here at day one of Move 2024. I'm joined by Dr. James Penn, co-founder and CEO of Pony AI, who's just stepped off his fireside chat. How are you doing today, James? Yeah, I'm doing good, great. So far, so good. It's such a great event, and it's uh, so great to be here. Amazing. So you just came out of your fireside chat discussing the future of mobility. How was that? What were your main takeaways from that? Yeah, I, I think it's a great event. I think we had an opportunity to share the how our approach to the future of the mobility, how the autonomous driving will make the mobility to be uh, safer, to be cheaper, and to be more reliable. So, so it's great. Amazing. Thank you. Um, why do you think the MOVE event is so important for the mobility ecosystem? How does it help your field, which is autonomous vehicles? Yes, because autonomous uh, mobility essentially requires the whole ecosystem to move along. It's no single company can do it alone. It requires all the uh, technical side, on the regulatory side, on the ecosystem and the supply chain side. I think MOVE event is a great event to bring awareness uh, to, to the public and at the same time, there's so many uh, ecosystem players in this event so that we actually can talk to them and uh, find out if there's a good opportunity for collaboration. Yeah, definitely. I know in your fireside chat, you just said that your company specifically focuses on making the driver and you rely on other businesses. You leverage your partnerships for everything else. So I guess you're right, you do use the entire mobility ecosystem. Was there anything else you wanted to say about that, about how you leverage you know, the entire ecosystem? Can you give some examples of who you use? Sure. Think about how do we make the autonomous mobility? We have uh, from user experience side, how do we acquire a user? So this can be a partner. And then uh, we make a virtual driver, but the thing that the vehicle needs to be maintained, it needs to be serviced, it needs to be charged. Uh, clean that and everything else. And uh, I think those are a lot of uh, the, the ecosystem players can play a part in those. And also uh, in terms of the, the, the in-cabinet experience, how do we, because the thing that the, uh, the people inside the car is no longer a driver, but a rider. So the rider has a lot of time to be freed up. So what do we do? What do, how do we entertain the riders? I think there's a lot can be done. Amazing. And I understand Pony AI has recently just signed an MOU with Luxembourg to accelerate autonomous mobility. I know you just spoke about it in your fireside chat, but can you tell me a little bit about that and tell me more about the recent global expansion? Absolutely. Uh, 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 again, we have to start somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Luxembourg, I think, is a good place to start in Europe. And it, by bringing our vehicles into the home turf, I think it's much easier to showcase to the uh, other European countries, yeah. what what do we do and how good we do and uh, how we can immerse our technology into the European market. So so I think that's that's the uh, purpose and that's the hope that yeah. we can use this. Uh, I I don't think we should stop. We'll, we'll definitely not just stop in the Luxembourg. Yeah. We'll be in the other countries as well. <laughs> Yeah, I know you also said about how Luxembourg has an open-minded government, and so that's the easiest, that was one of the contributing factors as to why you started your expansion in there. What are the other barriers that are hard to make it expand into Europe? You know, you said there's lots of countries, there's lots of restrictions, lots of different governments. Luxembourg are open-minded, what, but what are the other barriers? Yeah, I, I, I think, uh, of course, I'm not an expert in Europe, yeah. full disclaimer. Yeah. I, I think a lot of cases is, European has two, uh, many different countries and uh, different cities. Every city actually has a different uh, infrastructure, uh, different taxi union, different bus unions. So, so, so I think the uh, requirements and the regulations on each part is slightly different. So, so I think the, uh, uh, that's one of the reasons we have to start somewhere. Yeah. We have to build a really great, good experienced example. And then I think some uh, cities will be convinced that, that we will be a benefactor, a great contributor to, to their local mobility. Yeah, great. I'm sure it will definitely set a foundation and it will show the other European countries, you know, like if Luxembourg can do it, why can't the rest of them do it? Absolutely. So what is the present day autonomous vehicle experience like for Pony AI riders who are using your taxis? I think the good part is, is the experience is exactly like a human driver. Yeah. I think that's, uh, as I also alluded to in my uh, fast side chat, 
is we're not trying to make the product exciting. We're trying to make it boring. I, I think boring ride is a good compliment to us. So it's a safe, it's a very comfortable, and it's it's a very efficient ride. So so then the uh, riders can be freed up from uh, 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 driving instead of he or she can do a lot of other things in the car. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for tiring me today, yeah. James. And I, I hope you enjoy the rest of your time at Move. Yes, I do. Uh, and thanks for having me. Thank you.